I'm Megan Edwards for Investment Pitch Media. McDonald Mines announces two more gold discoveries at the scouting deposit on its SPJ property in Northern Ontario, with an additional nine holes from the 2019 program reported today. The results were highlighted by 12.1 grams per ton gold over 7.8 meters on one discovery and 5.47 grams per ton at the other. The company reports that their 2020 drill program is already underway and that the final three holes from 2019 are still pending and will be announced as soon as they are received. McDonald's SPJ property is located 40 kilometers east of Sudbury, Ontario, close to infrastructure and year-round road access. The property comprises 17,720 hectares of claims surrounding the past producing mine at the scatting deposit the scatting deposit produced 914 kilograms of gold from 127,000 tons grading 7.2 grams per ton gold between 1984 and 1990. McDonald has conducted an extensive drill program over the past year, making several new discoveries in the scatting mine area. The company is well funded and has started the 2020 drill program already. Hole 16 made a significant discovery in the Daytona structure intersecting 12.1 grams per ton gold over 7.8 meters, including 1 meter at 71.1 grams per ton gold. The Daytona discovery was intersected by holes 13 and 16 located between the scatting mine and the east-west pit with hole 13 intersecting gold at shallow depth and hole 16 successfully intersecting the down dip extension indicating that the gold mineralization increases with depth in the area. Hole 25 discovered a near surface gold zone of 5.47 grams per ton gold over 4.5 meters between 10.2 and 14.8 meters. This shallow discovery represents the interpreted western extension of the Villeneuve structure reported in previously announced Hole 22. Hole 25 tested a western extension of the Villeneuve structure at shallow depth and discovered a new chlorite zone at depth now known to overlay the Daytona structure discovery. The company makes note that holes associated with the Villeneuve structure, holes 15 and 20 intersected broad zones of rare earth oxides, and hole 21 intersected gold cobalt mineralization, indicating that scatting is not just a high-grade gold deposit, but a gold, polymetallic, iron oxide, copper gold type deposit. Quinton Yeri, McDonald's president and CEO, commented, As evidenced in today's results, the Daytona structure appears to be hosting some very high-grade gold mineralization. With drilling results to date, historical data, and geophysics, we've traced the Daytona structure over a strike length of more than 1,100 meters. Similarly, the Villeneuve structure that stretches over nearly one kilometer in strike will be the subject of further testing in 2020. Our 2019 drilling results continue to confirm that the scatting deposit is much larger than historically recognized. This presence of cobalt, copper, and rare earth oxides continues to indicate that scatting is a polymetallic IOCG type deposit. The shares are trading at $0.07 cents on the TSX Venture under the symbol BMK. For more information, please visit the company's website, mcdonaldminds.com. Contact Quinton Yeri, President and CEO, at 416-364-4986 or email qyari at mcdonaldminds.com. Investor Relations is handled by Mia Barizzi at 416-364-4986 or email mbarizzi at mcdonaldminds.com. I'm Megan Edwards for Investment Pitch Media.